Uh, hello, everyone. Chris Chinock here for the 8K Monitor. This is uh, issue 85. It's December 20th, 2022, our last issue of 2022. Uh, two stories in the issue uh, this week. Uh, one is by Bob Brakes, who speculates on what Samsung Electronics is going to reveal at CES in terms of their new wide aspect monitor. Uh, rumors of this have been hinted for several weeks now that it will be a uh, a 49-inch, 32 by 9 aspect ratio curved monitor, uh, specifically aimed at gaming. Uh, the big questions are, what's the resolution going to be? Will it be 8K by 2K, 5K by 1.4K? And secondly, what technology will it use? Will it be the QD OLED technology uh, that's been used on some other gaming monitors? Or will it be uh, uh, an LCD display with mini LED uh, backlights and, and quantum dots? Well, we're just going to have to wait for CES to know the answer to that one. So stay tuned. The second article in this week's issue of the AK Monitor, uh, also by Bob Brakes, uh, talks about why it's very hard to get to 8K with OLED displays. Now, there is an, an 8K white OLED display offered by uh, LG Electronics, but the issue is really not so much the manufacture of the OLED layers uh, on top of that, or if it's a QD OLED with the quantum dots, the deposition. The real issue here is how do you manufacture the backplane with the high density needed for an 8K display? Uh, an LCD display typically will have one transistor per pixel, a OLED display, which is current driven, can need three to five transistors. And with the design rules per pixel, and with the design rules that we have right now for, for backplanes, that becomes a bit of a challenge to squeeze those into the dimensions needed for uh, a high density 8K displays in a 60, 70, 80, even 90 inch uh, size range. Uh, so, again, we will wait for CES to see what announcements come in that area. So, stay tuned. Chris Chenock for the 8K Monitor.